Hey guys, Adam here. So, one of the things that we really enjoy on these trips, uh, aside from even all the fishing stuff, is just, you know, camping, hanging out, and uh, if you can't tell by the looks of me, I like to eat. So we wanted to do a little side cooking series for you guys to showcase uh, some of the crazy concoctions that we're gonna come up with on this trip. Some of you guys that are watching may not ever decide to cook this while you're camping. Uh, and this certainly isn't saying that this is what we always cook when we're camping. But we decided that we would take this uh, take this chance to kind of go a little overboard on some of the stuff we wanted to cook. So uh, tonight we're going to do beer brats. Uh, so we wanted to kind of walk you guys through uh, an episode here where we're going to cook some beer brats. All right, guys. So first step we're going to do to these beer brats is uh, we're going to start these guys by uh, boiling them in some beer. So we've got our beer brats. Pick those up from your handy dandy local Walmart before we left. So uh, one of my favorite beers to use here is uh, an IPA. I like a really hoppy beer. I feel like it also adds a really cool taste to, to the brats as well. So we've got our Shake A Day IPA from Big Sky Brewing. So we're gonna go ahead and get two of these guys opened up. We're just gonna get this, uh, get this beer heated up. Just turn it on the burner. Put a lid on it also as well here. So we just need to get that uh, heated up a little bit. Uh, this is one of my absolute favorite dishes to make uh, for tailgates as well. Super easy. Uh, all you need is a propane burner or of course, even if you're doing it at your house. Pretty cheap, easy, so easy to make uh, and it's really good. So uh, one, of my, one of my favorites to make even when I'm not camping too, but figured we'd make it for, uh, for you on our video. Just go ahead and put your lid on there. Let that warm up. That beer's gonna start boiling here in just a second. Just start, kind of constantly flip and rotate the dogs that are out of the beer back into the beer and just keep that, keep that moving. So while these are boiling, go ahead and heat up your smoker or your, uh, your grill. We happen to have a kind of a double duty uh, thanks to Camp Chef. So uh, we've got this guy warming up. I'm setting this uh, pretty high. It's, uh, I'm setting this to 425. Uh, to go ahead and get this guy warming up. These are coming along well. We're just gonna let these kind of boil in that beer for a few minutes, and then uh, we're gonna transfer them over onto the grill. If you have a thermometer, of course, you can test your internal temperature to make sure they're done, but you do pretty much want them to be fully cooked in the beer at this point. The grill is just to kind of add a, add a nice kind of crunchy, crisp outside that you know you might like on your dogs. We did this a little bit of a rush this evening because we're so hungry. We've been on the water all day and all I had to eat was some pretzels. So uh, Steven is at this point what I would call hangry. If you know anything about gremlins, you're not supposed to feed them after midnight, something like that. Uh, uh, you, can, <laughs> you can watch the movie and find out more about it. But um, so at this point, uh, we have kind of cooked these on real high. However, if you know you're gonna do this, uh, you know you want them for dinner, if you actually let these things simmer for a long time in the beer, it makes them better. But when you're camping, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter what you put in front of me right now, I'm gonna eat it. There we go, those are coming along nicely and uh, right around this time is when I'm gonna need to refill on this beer. And oh yeah, those are looking real good. I like mine to have a little more, ch a little char on them, which is uh, looks like what we can pump. Well, there y'all have it. We got our beer brought spaghetti. This is mad decent, and uh, we're about to eat this, or else Steven's gonna start stabbing people with forks. So it's only a plastic fork. She love. It's a minor inconvenience. It's a minor inconvenience, but uh, we need to get this this guy to eat right now. Ooh, that smells delicious. Get that little wiener on there. I love the crunchiness offset to the noodles there. Delicious. I give what it a you, passing grade. What, what, do you, what do you give it a little rating? Six out of nine. Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have it on 120, so I'm about to sneeze. I want you to eat that. <laughs> I sneeze on that. <laughs> 